The new Mac Studio has not changed much and is still the same semi-portable, light, non-upgradable, but powerful Apple computer, made possible by Apple's M series chip. But with the launch of the Mac Pro, it is also a Mac Pro killer. This is M2 Ultra Mac Studio review, so let's do it all. Mac Studio has no difference in terms of design compared to the previous generation, only is a slightly bigger. The body is completely aluminum and of high quality, is almost portable, have two fans that produce very little noise and a plastic base that places the aluminum body above the surface. But the new Mac Pro, a completely new structure and an old design. No, don't get me wrong, its build quality is still extremely high, but such a large space is not needed at all for this hardware. Unlike the previous generation, both the GPU and the decoder which integrated with the neural engine and the RAM are completely placed on one chip. You might say that it performs better in thermal control, which is true, but the difference is not significant, and the Mac Studio space is enough for this type of chip. Of course, the design will definitely change in the next generation, but now it is completely useless. Mac Studio connections have not changed much, but they have improved a little. Now it supports Bluetooth 5.3 and Wi-Fi 6E and has HDMI 2.1. The rest of the ports are the same as the previous generation. Two USB-A ports, one 10 gigabits per second Ethernet port and six Thunderbolt 4 ports. M2 Ultra now supports up to six Apple XDR Pro monitors or three 8K monitors. Mac Pro has eight Thunderbolt 4 ports, but unlike the Mac Studio, it doesn't support SD card. I think that 8 Thunderbolt ports is not a big advantage compared to 6 ports when both chips and their hardware support are the same. Of course, some may really need that. Well, that's your choice. But the $3000 advantage of the Mac Pro is the 6 PCIe Gen 4 ports, which do not support additional RAM or external GPU. It can be said that Mac Pro is not upgradable now. But there are definitely people like those who work on audios or people who need a lot of high speed memory and these ports are very important to them and they are willing to pay $3000 more for it. But they will definitely not be satisfied with the money they paid. The most important change in the new Mac Studio is the hardware. The M2 Ultra chip is made up to two M2 Max chips that are connected to each other with an Ultra Fusion connection at a speed of 2.5 terabytes per second which was also in the previous generation and ensures that two chips work like one powerful chip and have no problems. M2 Ultra has 24 CPU cores, 16 of which are performance cores and 8 of which are efficiency cores. It has 60 or 76 GPU cores and 32 neural engine cores and has 64, 128 or 192 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, which has a speed of 800 gigabytes per second due to integration with the chip, which is completely more powerful than any other Windows competitors. Interestingly, the base version of the Mac Studio M2 Ultra is exactly the same as the base version of Mac Pro. And if you want to buy a Mac Studio with the money of the basic Mac Pro, you can buy a 76 core version with 192GB of RAM and 2TB of memory. If you really don't need PCIe ports, I think Mac Studio will be your best friend. Let's go to the world of numbers and your performance. The single core performance of the CPU has improved by 16% compared to the previous generation, but it is 10% weaker than the Intel CPU. Its multi-core performance is also about 2% weaker than Intel, but it has improved by 13% compared to the M1 Ultra. In terms of performance stability, M2 Ultra has about 20% better performance than the previous generation. This number is different in Intel according to the type of cooling system. But in terms of GPU, Apple doesn't have much to say. Compared to the M1 Ultra, it has improved by 86%, but compared to Nvidia's 4080 graphics, it is 33% weaker. And since Mac Pro has the same chip, its performance is 230% weaker than 4090. This is just a benchmark. When you check the specifications and features of RTX, you will realize that Apple has no chance. Let's get away from numbers. The new Mac Studio comes with macOS Sonoma, which focuses a lot on widgets, and I think you are familiar with the Mac user interface. What is important is its extremely good performance in video editing, sound editing, and rendering. This is one of the goals of Neural Engine cores. 
Outside of the numbers, it is one of the best choices for professional editing, everyday work and even programming. At WWDC, Apple tried to get closer to gamers, but it is still not recommended for gaming at all. The same for engineering programs, because most of them are not compatible with Mac, and you will have to use the Windows emulator, which greatly reduces the performance. Mac Studio is definitely worth buying for Mac lovers, but Mac Pro. I think it should have much better than this. And in the next generation, the best case is to make fundamental changes. For example, it can be powered by something stronger than Mac Studio and become more upgradable. Or at least it will be reduced in price and redesigned. And in the case that I personally don't like, it will be integrated with Mac Studio. I think Apple better know it than me. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it. And if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, see you next video.